Hang on. I, I forgot that I could change the um the sound in um OBS. It's loud for me, but manageable for the people watching. Mangoth. When there were yet no people in the middle world. I'm just wondering if my mic is it's giving feedback. So I'm gonna stay back here. When there were yet no people in the middle world. Mangoth walked calmer. Mangoth was so heavy that he sank breast deep into the ground and dug the riverbeds with his mass and his horns. Where he lay down to rest, he created lakes, and seas emerged where he grazed. One day, seven birds sat on the horns of Mangoth. The earth could not hold his body any longer. He fell through the land into the lower world, where he still sleeps amid his fallen horns. We still find some of his horns here in the middle world, where he left them at the dawn of creation. Obnoxiously loud. Something I missed. I think this is just death. No. Spoon. A spoon with a bare depiction on the handle. Similar spoons were used during pagan rituals, 7th or 8th century, from the upper Kama Basin, Permacrap. Forest of Bones. Time passed. Mangoth slept in the darkness of the lower world. More and more of his fellow horns fell. He heavy horns fell. And after thousands of years, they formed the Forest of Bones. Among the fallen horns dwells the spirits of the lower world, and the forest has become thick and impassable. This game, this game, why is it so long around? Oh my god! My ears bleeding.
is Mangoth, once builder of the middle world. Still his horns are full of power. When he raises his heavy head, he'll sneeze. If you um, put pressure on the, this lower part of your nose, you can sometimes, not 100%, sometimes you can halt the sneeze. Don't put too much pressure on it though, you don't want like the, uh, the cartilage going into your brainstem. When he raised his heavy hand, the dome of the lower world shakes and the ground of the middle world shatters. Did the, the music looped then, didn't it? I heard it, you heard it. I think we have to leave it there because we're coming up to the end of the stream. So myths. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then collection. Missing out a fair few. I'm not sure if it like Yeah, maybe we just have missed out on like heaps. I don't know. It's fine, it's fine. But we are going to exit. If we continue. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, it, it does like a chapter thing. Okay, so, okay, do we cheat? I think we cheat. Okay, there's 12. 24. 36. 48. 49. Oh. I'm not doing much tonight, but I keep going. Just do it in one hit. I could do. I've got my um, I've got my chocolate bunny, heavily discounted. They want to get it off the shelf. I was only, I was more than happy to oblige them. It could sustain me. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? It's just a one-off, and we can maybe get this um this game done in one hit, and then um I could do um other things. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Continue. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's a spider. Understood. Thank you very much, Alarm. Sharan. The great spider Sharan. Sharan? Sharan. The lord of darkness spins his web in the gloom. Wed spins his web in the gloom. His 77 eyes follow each ought watchfully, so that he might help them reach the middle world. But pity the stray spirit that falls into Sharon's webs. Above the Suyu, as it flows into the murky caves of the lower world in a chasm so deep that the bottom is unseen, Sharan, Sharan, Sharan spins his enormous web. Orts walk along it from the lower world to the middle world, shadow after shadow, day after day, 
century after century. Okay, that's a separate. Okay, I think that's the final alarm. That's a spider leg if ever I've seen one. Or it could be a crab leg. Ooh. Very naughty. Ouch. Ooh. Just trying to get some good stabs in. Do I need to go left or do I need to go right? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. I think I'm doing well. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta do it in a particular order. Run. No, that's a bad joke. I feel good. I, I feel good saying it though, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, ah, I found a secret. Eh -heh. Eh -heh. Man, a stylized plaque depicting a man surrounded by mushmen. Seventh or eighth century from the Upper Kama Basin, Perm Crap. Continue. Hmm. Oh, is that a wolf? No, okay. NW on the background, wolf pack below. Oh. I'll just cut ahead. Hmm. I wonder if they'll try to attack me. Moose man can, like, he's briskly walking, isn't he? It's like me on my walks. I think um, for what it is, this game's uh, interesting, certainly interesting. The sound issue, though. Yoink. Yoink, that's for me. Seven. Oh, now the music's a bit too low. Seven, a plaque depicting seven moose heads and seven bird heads. It was attached to clothes. Seventh or eighth century from the village of Mikhailo. Mikhailo. 
gamey district in Pumcrack. The moose was a sacred animal. Many archaeological findings support this fact. Was there something going up this way? I'll go through there anyway. That's a spider's throat. Oh. Don't think that's good, is it? Oh. I'm in the deep dark now. Thermorphic duck shaped hollow pendant, 6th 7th century, from the upper Kama Basin, from Krak. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yep, that's a fish. <clears throat> Vakul. At the bottom of the river lies Vakul, the master of all rivers. He is a fierce pike fish, the lord of the water. He devours men that do not sacrifice to him. Hidden in the murky depths, he awaits his prey. Vakul, the master of rivers, has his own household. He has a wife and a house and cattle. At night you can see Vakul's cows near the river. All you need to do, all you need do to take one is throw a rope around its neck. But beware Vakul's vengeance. Making him his own cows. It's just, uh, it's just savage. Do not eat me. Do not, do not, do, do not, do not. Hated me. Oh no. Do not eat me. Look elsewhere. Here we go. Yeah. Rivers of the universe. The worlds are interconnected with many rivers, and one who knows can tr can travel from the lower world to the middle, and from the middle to the upper. There are other ways to traverse the worlds, but each path has its guardian, and there is no easy way back. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Go, go, go. Oh. Love. When the Oort walks the final path, the love spirit emerges from the man in the shape of a butterfly and flies away to the upper world to live in an abode of light. Many white butterflies live on the Mount of the Ancestors. Cool. Don't eat me. Yummy. Yeah. 